to start this project, you need five cubes. Now I'm going to use these big ones. Now, when you use five cubes, you can make different designs to build this house. Now, the story was that um, this inventor created this very innovative way of assembling the house. You know, houses are very expensive these days, so this is the cheapest way. So, this to complete this task, you need to make different types of houses using these five cubes. However, there's restriction. Each house needs to be connected with the whole square. So that means this is an illegal house. I guess you cannot walk into another section of the house using just an edge. Or another thing is each house needs to be freestanding. That means this is not allowed. Or this is not allowed because it falls. Simply building the house just like a legal block. Does it make sense? Well, another illegal house is this. Remember, each unit needs to be connected using the whole square. So connecting the house with half the square is not right. So, you may find it difficult to draw each house on the isometric paper. However, I have a little tip. So let's watch the video together. To design these cube houses, the very first thing you need to do is to locate a letter Y placed in a very, very high position in the house, not the bottom part of the house. Then you transfer it onto the isometric paper. You can see a rhombus on the top of the Y. Now looking at the bottom of the Y letter Y, I can see another one, two unit going down. One, two unit going down. From the letter Y, I can see two diagonal lines going up. Two more. I can see another letter Y here. Letter Y. I can see another letter Y from this very, very busy intersection. Very busy intersection, letter Y. Now we connect the rest of the lines. I can I went down to down to. It is important to count how many lines or unit of lines you're making. Out, down, down and out. Now we go down. Down, then connect. You 
here's another cube house design. Now it is your turn to use the isometric paper to draw this design. Let's pause the video. Again, the very first thing to you need to do is to locate the letter Y at the highest point. So let's draw a letter Y to start with. There you go. From the letter Y, I can see two units going down. One unit here, two unit going down. Let's complete the rhombus. Rhombus. Now looking at the side of the Y, I can see one, two, three unit going down. One, two, three, three unit of lines going down. One, two, three. One, two, three. I can see these diagonal lines to complete these three cubes. One cube. Two cubes, three cubes. Now, oops, so let's finish these bits as well. Now I can see a letter Y again, and from the second so the horizontal line there. From here, I can see a letter Y. I complete that with letter Y. I can see a rhombus. This rhombus I just completed. From the corners of the rhombus, I can see one unit of line going down. This part's already done, so I need to do this part. Then complete the cube. Down, complete the cube. Now I can see this line here going up. Can you see that? So I complete that as well. This is the house number two. Are you ready for the house number three? So as usual, you need to find a letter Y located at the highest point, not the bottom Y's. So I can see the top letter Y And I'm going to draw the letter Y. I can see a rhombus at the top. And from the letter Y, I can see a line, another line going down. Sorry, it's slightly skewed. I can see on the this side of the rhombus, I can see a line in the unit line going down, not two, only one unit. This side, however, you have one, two going down. So one this side, one, two the other side. I can see diagonal lines going up here and going up, and going up, up, and up. Looking at the blue cube, I can see a letter Y from the busy 
intersection called letter the letter Y. I can complete the rhombus. Line goes down. This side is already done. Then I, I connect the line to complete the blue cube. That part's done. Now I'm looking at the yellow cube. From the middle of between the red and green, I can see a letter Y again. From green and the red cube, letter Y to make the green cube, the yellow cube. I complete the rhombus, complete the rhombus. I can see a line going down, going down. Then I connect these to make the yellow cube. I can see a, a small, very small part of green cube here. So let's complete that green cube by connecting that rhombus to the corner. That's the third house. How did you go? So how did you go with designing the houses? Once you get used to it, it gets really, it becomes quite easy to draw these houses. Now, in the project you'll find the task to actually put the price on each house oh this is a little house there you go so the housing prices are designed like this so whatever on the ground so i said it the first story each cube would cost ten thousand dollars so ten thousand twenty thousand this is that $30,000. Whenever when you put another cube on the second story, a second story cube, this is this cube costs double of one cube, the ground floor or this first story. So 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, this is actually 20,000 cube. When you put another cube on top of it, that costs double of this cube. So this is the $20,000 cube. This is the $40,000 cube. Again, if I need to put this on top of it, this was a 40,000 cube, right? So this is now 80,000 cube. So this house would cost 10,000 plus 10,000 plus 20,000 plus 40,000 plus 80,000. You can do the calculation. Now, the most expensive house would be this. I wonder how much this costs. Let's pause the video. What do you think? So this cube would cost you 10,000, 20, plus 20,000, plus 40,000, plus 80,000, so this is the double of this, so this is $160,000 cube. So the whole house here, the whole house here costs 10,000 plus 20,000 plus 40,000 plus 80,000 plus 160,000. So this is a $310,000 house. Hope this makes sense. I wonder what the cheapest house is. So if every single cube is on the ground like this, so this is 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. So this is a $50,000 house. This is cheap, right? So in the, your task, you'll be asked to build your own house. 
and your budget is one million dollars to make your house you may need a lot of cubes so if it's difficult you may have to design it then you have to calculate the, the cost so good luck designing houses <laughs>